While still listed as a threatened species, the peregrine falcon is making a remarkable comeback in Alberta. Back in the mid 70s, this raptor was all but gone. But thanks to some significant conservation efforts, there are about 70 nesting falcons to be found in our province. We take you now to one of the more unique sites to be found in Alberta. Look up, look way up. Can you see it? Well, that box contains a family of peregrine falcons. And on this day, the chicks that hatched here just a few short weeks ago are going to be banded. Now, this nesting box was set up on the stack at the Genesee Power Plant back in 2005. And ever since, well, it's been home to a nesting pair of peregrines. Meet Jennifer Linder with Capital of Power. It's going to be her job to make the trip up the tower to retrieve the chicks so they can be banded. When you get, grab them from the nest, just put your hand on their back okay. and then just scoop them up under there. Then they'll squeak a bit, but they won't be, and they might be footy a little bit, but they don't have any strains so okay. at this age. And then when you're putting them into the bag, just put them head first into the corner. Okay. And hopefully they'll stay there. Well, let's hope so, because it's a long ways down. Good to go. To gain access to the box, Jennifer takes a service elevator. Then it's out onto the narrow ramp to the nesting box, where she discovers a critical piece of information was missing from her brief. How does the door work? Well, it didn't take long to figure things out. Not an easy task, though. When this is your first time handling these chicks, you have two angry peregrines dive bombing your head. It's actually quite intense up there. Um, there is nothing between you and the ground other than the grating. The uh, mom and dad were actually both flying around. We uh, interrupted their lunch time, so it was a little graphic up there. But we got all the babies down safely. With the birds safely tucked away in the satchel, it's a quick ride to the banding area where Rick Morse is standing by ready to attach the bands. And while the banding is taking place, Gordon Court had an opportunity to check out what these chicks have been chowing down on. That's the uh, lower mandible of a Franklin gull. This was a species we prefer them not to eat in, in Alberta. The entire population of Franklin gulls that nests here in Alberta winters off the coast of Chile, where we still have quite a bit of DDT residues. And it certainly appears that the local habitat has everything that these peregrines are looking for. They have quite the feast out here uh, between the gophers and the pigeons and mice. So we have a actually very natural rodent control system, so. <laughs> Protecting this environment is a priority with capital power. What's good for the peregrine, seems, is good for many other species as well. It says a lot about the site, about the site itself and the work that we're doing out here to still make our footprint not have as much of an impact and to be able to work with these species and to keep them around in the area. Now you can keep track of the next set of peregrine chicks by logging onto this site.